welcome back. On today's episode, we're doing a sequence box shaker process, and I'm using the gift box die, a soda bottle shaker, a Santa bow die, as well as a Valentine's pendant, all from Scrap Diva Design. You can get them in her store. I will have a discount code in the description so you can get yours. Let's get started. I've gone ahead and done some cutting ahead of time and pre-assembling just so that this video won't take too long. Here is the main pieces that I'm going to be using. This paper collection is from an old kit from Tuesday morning. Gone ahead and done the soda bottle shaker already and the label. So let's get started. We're gonna start on the bows. This really pretty bow is a Santa bow die. I love the little scallops and the little detail of the color blocking right in the middle of the bow and it's so cute. I'm using so many different types of adhesives on today's video. I'm using liquid glue, Barely Art. I'm also using tape runner and some glue dots. Because I'm using different materials, as you'll see, some of the, the process to glue things, if you're a crafter, you know, different types of glues work better on different types of surfaces. So I'm finishing up doing this middle part here of the bow, and I've gone ahead and also done the sequence mix to match the paper collection. This is a paper collection. It's like a friend's girls night out um, celebration type of cheers kit. I thought it was really cute when I bought it and I have not used too much of it and I thought this was perfect. This die cut is great to use uh, the box, the gift box, for even little birthday party favors or like Halloween's coming up little treat boxes, back to school boxes, Christmas, Valentine's, you name it. It's a perfect size for little treats and stuff like that. So that's great. I left the soda bottle on the side to finish drying and I went ahead and I started assembling this and I built these, I put these together in two different ways. This first way that I did it, I had so much trouble. As you can see, I adhere the two pieces together and put tape runner on the bottom piece. This is the moment I made a mistake. I should have put the bottom piece before I assembled the entire thing. I had such a hard time putting this on to make it evenly because of the camera being right above me. I didn't want my head to pop into the middle of the, of the, of the video. So that was really hard for me and eventually I do do the second box a different way. I'm also adhering to with double-sided tape and a glue dot and liquid glue because of the acetate. I wanted it to really stick. And I could have gone ahead and sewn it, that tool piece, but I decided not to. This little friends label was part of the pull apart cards in the kit. And I am just adding the soda pop, super cute already in there and the bow at the top. Look at this, isn't that fun? I thought it was super cute. Now let's go on to the second one. I've already gone ahead and done a window on this box because I'm going to make it a shaker. I wanted shaker elements sequence to be in both of the boxes in two different ways. So again, I'm adhering the bottom piece of on this one before I put everything together gone ahead and did the foam already using some static powder there, anti-static powder, and filling that little window in. I, I decided to do my window on the inside of the box versus the outside. I think many people have been using it on the outside, and I didn't know that until I saw other people's projects, and I thought, oh, well, mine's a little different, and that's okay. It works both ways. I'm going to put that to the side, and then I'm going to put... Oh, I guess I finished quickly. I'm gonna come back and add those together. There we go. So much easier adding the bottom piece, as you will see. Lifting up those bottom double-sided tapes and easier, so much easier. I like that way better. And then I'm gonna add pendants on this side. And look at how cute. 
matting the bow and I once I put these pendants together I thought I wanted it on the opposite side than the soda bottle was so I'm gonna put those on the left side isn't this cute now finishing touches again this kit came with sticker pieces so I'm adding in a little bit of elements from the paper collection those little tassels the pennants it just looks like a fun celebration already and I wanted to put more things on it. I wanted to put more ephemera or stickers. I wanted it to stand out just as much as that bottle shaker. So I'm looking and I'm thinking maybe, maybe it needs something else. So there's so many stickers, but I wanted, I didn't want it to completely cover the shakers. So I'm trying to see maybe the cute little macarons, macaroons, the hearts. Everything looks perfect. It fits in perfectly well. And I love that that soda bottle die was perfect for this collection, as you could see. And then I think I added, yes, I did add the girls' night out words into that shaker window gift box. Yep. Isn't this pretty? It's so cute and everything matches. Again, that soda bottle shaker was perfect match for this and the bows the colors I think is just so fun I I love that it has pops of orange in there I would have never thought of incorporating orange in the typical pink teal yellow but that's what it turned out look at this isn't this cute again these gift boxes are perfect for any occasion can't wait to gift these to some friends or when my daughter has a sleepover, she can give them to her friends. Isn't this cute? Just the pop of color, everything. I, I really like the way this turned out. I think it's one of my favorite projects up to date. It's definitely been my latest one. Huh. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed. And if you want more information on these dies, check out the description below and a discount code, Veronica, so you can get a discount on your next order. Isn't this cute? I absolutely love that Santa bow. I think it adds a perfect touch. Until next time, bye!